What's up guys, Derek, more place, more dates.com. Today we are going to be going over your uh, worst cycle experiences. So if you saw the uh, first video of the series, I was kind of going over worst cycle experiences from a Reddit thread that I was sent. And then after that, everyone asked me to do mine. So I did mine. And then from there, we had a bunch of good ones in the comment section. So I did a um, your worst cycles from the comment section. And each of the videos I think was uh, pretty well received, you know, had a uh, good feedback. People enjoyed it. Some funny stories in there, some fucking sketch stories in there. And, um, people have been asking to bring it back. So, you know, I put out there in the, um, he ran trend for 16 weeks for a first cycle. And this is what happened video. I told people to put their experiences in the comment section. And I also had some people reach out privately as well. So I'm gonna go into uh, some of the private ones, go through the comments section. There was one even made on my Reddit, which if you didn't know, there is <laughs> apparently a more plates, more dates Reddit. So, um, and it seems to be growing pretty quick. Like when I went to it to find uh, the story, 1.1 thousand members. Like to me, that seems like a lot considering I've never really, uh, I've never said like, go it, go to it and like sign up. So um, pretty cool to see that just like randomly there and it doing well. So, or at least, you know, for me, it seems like it's doing well. So anyways, here is the first one. This one was sent privately over email. So he asked to remain anonymous. This is the story of how a bad cycle derailed my entire life. I'm in my last thirties, late. Okay, before I started my first cycle is on TRT, 200 migs per week. Everything was going great at the time. Then I started my first cycle last summer and I was able to get my hands on some gear. I started out with a somewhat reasonable dose of 300 mg of test and 100 milligrams of Tren per week. Over time, I started adding compounds to my cycle. I started taking CJC1295 and Ipamorelin. So if you don't know, this is a GHRH and this is a GHRP um, that are typically used concurrently to get a one plus one equals three effect. Um, I think that's the class of compounds this falls into, but anyways, these are uh, typically used in unison and ipamorelin, you know, is often some substitutes or alternatives that are often used too are uh, hexarelin, GHRP2, GHRP6. Each has their own individual, you know, ghrelin receptor agonism. It's a bit different than each other. Some will stimulate hunger way more than the other one. Some will cause uh, purportedly desensitization a lot quicker. Some re require a higher dose to be effective, like ipamorelin is uh, effective, but it needs to be used at a much higher dose, unfortunately, and it's quite expensive. But anyways, then I started taking Masteron 100 milligrams per week and 30 milligrams of injectable YK11 per day. Jesus fuck, dude. So this is your first cycle. I later added DECA and started increasing all my doses. At the end, I was taking upwards of 700 milligrams of test with half a milligram of anastrozole 300 milligrams of DECA, 400 Tren, 100 Mastron, 350 milligrams of YK11, which by the way, if you don't know what YK11 is, it is a steroidal selective androgen receptor modulator. It is based on the way it acts and its chemical structure, it seems to be that of like, so when you think of steroidal SARMs, that's like, to be honest, anything that is uh, derived from testosterone, it was designed to be more tissue selective than testosterone is technically on paper like a steroidal SARM. So we have like Trenblone technically is a steroidal SARM. How, you know, silly that sounds, that's, you know, it's selective. It's more tissue selective than testosterone in Hershberger assays and whatnot. So, you know, YK11 is also a steroidal SARM. It is not a non-steroidal SARM that is derived from an anti-androgen backbone or something like that. Like this is an actual steroidal backbone. This is when my life started to unravel at my worst. And this is a fucking huge dose, by the way, 350 milligrams of YK11 per week injectable. At my worst, I was only sleeping three to four hours per night, developing acne, which I've never had. And I was sweating through my sheets every night. However, I felt like I was invincible. I gained 15 pounds over a four month period while getting leaner and was gaining strength in all my lips. I looked amazing and felt confident, actually cocky. So women began noticing me. I became super aggressive towards strangers and a complete asshole to everyone in my life. My girlfriend started complaining that I was no longer the man she fell in love with. She also complained because it would take me over an hour to come if I was even able to at all. I started treating her like shit and I became paranoid that she was cheating on me for no reason. <laughs> What's what I'm laughing because this is like, this is like flagship trend right here. Um, cheating on me for no reason whatsoever to the point that I became controlling. Even our friends started commenting about how I needed to treat her better, but it seemed like the worse I treated her, the more desperately she wanted to make me happy. I was also an asshole to many of my friends. For example, 
One time I got blackout drunk at a party and said something so bad to my friend's girlfriend that both of them refused to talk to me for months afterwards. To this day, they won't even tell me what I said, probably because it was that bad. One day for no reason at all, I kicked my girlfriend out of my apartment and told her I never wanted to see her again. I went out that night, got drunk and hooked up with a girl my best friend introduced me to. When my girlfriend came back a couple days later, I took her to the bedroom and told her about it while we were having sex. <laughs> Jesus, fuck, dude. She cried but decided to stay with me. Over the next four months, I kept seeing my girlfriend on the side while meeting other women off of Bumble. I would go over to my girlfriend's house, have sex with her, and then when she would ask me to spend time with her, I would tell her I didn't want to see her, all because I was going out with other people. I completely spiraled out of control to the point all I could think about was going to the gym to lift, drinking, and having sex with different women. I started getting behind at work and all my personal relationships fell to the wayside. I hooked up with over a dozen different women in three weeks and I started seeing five of them on a regular basis. How the fuck would you have time for any of this, dude? I would often have sex with two of them on the same day. Often I had to fake having an orgasm because I wasn't able to come. Several times my girlfriend would tell me I smelled like another woman and I would just laugh it off. Eventually I ended up seeing one of the other women on a steady basis and I maintained these two relationships for four months until one day when my one of my girlfriend's friends spotted me with this other woman and told her about it, I eventually broke down and told the other woman that I had been seeing my old girlfriend during our relationship and she decided to end things with me too. This, dude, this is all during one cycle? Jesus, fuck. When I finally stopped this cycle, I felt extreme remorse for all the destruction I had caused and all the people I had hurt. I lost two women who I actually cared about, hurt several others due to my actions and damaged several of my close friendships. While I, when I look back, at how I acted during this time, I don't even recognize the person who did all of that. Many of the women I interacted with at the time called me a narcissistic asshole, and they were probably right to think this. Since then, I have learned to be much more cautious with the doses and compounds that I use. However, many of these side effects have become permanent, and I do not know if I will ever get back to normal. Due to the damning content of this email, I would ask to keep this anonymous. Jesus, fuck, that was a depressing one. So, moral of the story, on your first cycle, do not use more than just test. You know, that is, uh, I'm sure this guy would tell the same thing. That is fucking insane. Especially adding in like a research chemical injectable on your first cycle concurrently with fucking Trenbolone. Insane. All right, so the next one comes from Instagram DMs. Bro, just thought I'd share my crazy trend story. <laughs> All caps. <laughs> trend story. Back in July, I did my first cycle of Tren A. While on 200 mg of test sip, I still remember vividly. I was walking my dog in my apartment complex and I saw a five year old spraying water on with a water gun from her balcony. I immediately thought it was my psycho ex. What? I saw a five year old girl, a five year girl spraying water on even. What the fuck am I reading? Even. Thought it was my psycho ex, even though my ex has moved countries and does not know where I live. I dropped my dog off at my apartment and sprint back to the apartment where I was sprayed with a water gun. I started slamming on the door and start yelling, fuck you, you nasty whore. You fucking stalker. You really think you can fuck with me? No one is opening the door. I fucking wait there by the door for 30 minutes until the police shows up and detains me. At this point, I still don't know that it was a five-year-old girl that sprayed the water on me and not my fucking ex. The police told me that there was a five-year-old girl playing in the balcony that accidentally sprayed water on you. The police gave me a warning and said that I need to go see a doctor for my anger management. Moral of the story, don't do Trent. Okay. <laughs> you guys get the idea by now that Trent will make you, uh, can really make you uh, think weird things. So anyways, this is another one. So this was from the actual uh, More Plates, More Dates Reddit um, called Almost Another Terrible Cycle. Hey everyone, this is a burner account for obvious reasons. This is actually gonna be a long video if I do every single one. So maybe I'll make this two parts. So I'll do this one and then maybe I'll do a second video after because there's no way I'm gonna get through all these. When I was fifth, wait, hang on. This is, so this is a burner account for obvious reasons. I'm an 18 year old male from the UK. I used to row at a very high level winning nationals. When I was 15 or so, I got into PEDs for enhanced performance and started taking MK677, 25 migs per day. Austrian 20 milligrams per day and SR 9009 30 milligrams per day Which is essentially like taking zero milligrams per day because there's no oral bioavailability But anyways, I responded very well to this and my 2k fell literally almost 10 seconds over the first several weeks Well, I shouldn't say zero bioavailability, but it's very small. Um, well, let's see it fell 
almost 10 seconds over the first several weeks, which is kind of a ton. I kept, <laughs> I kept taking these every day around 16 months. Holy shit. With no blood work or anything until the first lockdown around a year ago, I had started plateauing and even reg regressing. So I had a blood test and was surprisingly mostly okay. I can attach if interested. When the lockdown started, all drug testing and stuff was off. Not that they, not that they tested much anyway. So I decided to try and take a huge step forward by buying testosterone and anthate as a base. RAD 140, GW, <laughs> GW, blah, blah. Because <laughs> he doesn't know what the number is. That's funny. He didn't want to look it up. So it's GW 501516, if I recall correctly, off the top of my head, which I didn't end up using. Wow. So of all the stuff that he could have used for rowing, he didn't use cartering. That's interesting. And Tren Ace, the holy grail for, the, the holy grail for wrecking your endurance. I know the source... So I am fairly confident it was all real. I plan to do the following doses each week while keeping the other stuff going. Test E 250 milligrams, RAD 140, 175 milligrams per week. Trend 300 milligrams per week, GW one pill just before training. I took the test for several weeks before adding the trend, RAD or GW. I felt very good on the test, but I was, but was working from my home gym. So it was difficult to compare. I ended up be, being violently ill for several weeks in that March to April, almost 40 degree fever. So I didn't end up continuing the cycle other than the test as I felt the PEDs might harm my health and therefore training. I offloaded what I had left of the trend, RAD and GW to my friend Ollie, who was into that sort of stuff. I find it funny when people don't think this stuff is common knowledge among teenagers. It is practically a running joke that people take trend. I would say Austrian and trend are the two most known about PEDs among teens aside from test and the prevalence of them is rather shocking. Regardless, learning more about this all, I'm happy that I left this shit alone. Damn, dude. Um, so let's see. Did you run trend for endurance? It is notoriously cardiotoxic and nukes your endurance. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yes, I know. I was trying to build muscle and heard it was the best. <laughs> that's like the classic, dude. Heard it was the sickest compound. This is the god steroid, so I got to use that one. This is very true, especially the part at the end. In my school, also in the UK, SARMs, Test, and Trend are literally a running joke among everyone who goes near a gym. I'm 17 and we literally do natty or not on each other. <laughs> That's funny. For reference, I've only taken MK677 and I'm happy that I stopped at that. The thing that's funny too is when I was in high school, people would do natty or nots on each other too. Um, because people are so secretive about this stuff, they become like typically, unless a guy, I guess, has his entire career based around being natural and he's kind of like fucked himself like Mike O'Hearn. Um, you, I noticed guys become more and more transparent as they become more and more mature. It seems like throughout their twenties and getting into their thirties and whatnot, but like as a late, like late teens and shit. They'll literally just like lie to their best friends, lie about their doses, lie to their girlfriend, lie to everyone. Even if everyone knows like they're unnatural, they'll just be like, oh, I use like, even like, if it's to the point where it's so obvious that they're unnatural, they'll just say they do like the absolute minimum amount that is like, seems reasonable. Like they have like hyper responder genetics to make it seem like they're not as irresponsible. Um, but yeah, that's funny how they do natty or nots on each other. Was stupid, mostly for muscle type stuff. Heard it was the best for that. <laughs> You say you took went around 15, but it was only a year ago. Don't you know how old you were? Laugh my ass off. So that was, uh, that was another one. We're at, uh, I'm at 16 minutes on my camera, dude. So I might cut this off here, but, um, we have how many comments in the comment section? Holy motherfucker. 1,129 comments. Now I'm assuming how many of these are actually going to be like stories. I don't know. 1% maybe if that, so maybe. Okay, if we're lucky, maybe we'll have like 50 in here. Maybe that's generous. I don't even know. Maybe we'll have like, if we have like 25 in here, that's more than enough for a video or two. So anyways, I'm going to cut it off here. Maybe I'll do a part two and maybe I'll just like put it out on the same day as this one. I don't know yet. We'll see how it goes. So let me know what you guys think. Comments down below. Um, if you enjoyed this, I should do more of these. If you have any cycle experiences, <laughs> drop them down. Um, like, subscribe, check out my blog, moreplacemoredates.com. Follow me on Instagram, at moreplace underscore more dates, Facebook, Snapchat, Bitchu, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts. If you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with in the video description below my TRT clinic. It's all telemedicine from the comfort of your own home. Gorilla Mind, nootropic formulas, Gorilla Mode. Pre-workout formulas are designed myself from scratch and anything else I'm associated with, including diagnostics and lab work, which you should be getting if you're using this shit or planning on using this shit, or even if you just want to assess your health in general, highly recommend you get 
lab work done. And I have a uh, pre-made lab test panels for a variety of uh, different scenarios already set up. So check those out. And any, anything else I'm associated with, it's all in the video description below. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.